Good morning, my friend. I'm on my way to, I don't actually know where I'm going. Oh, I need to text my friend. Oh God, I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna text my friend and then I will, my Camino guardian, I didn't tell her where I'm going today. Yeah, which I actually don't know where, but I should at least text and say, I'm alive. Rachel, I'm okay. Don't worry, you don't need to ring the police. So I'm already at seven kilometers. I walked most of the way with Tom and another Tom from France. And um, I don't know where I'm going today. The problem is it's 27 kilometers to Burgos. And then obviously you also have to find your albergue. So it usually is like almost 30 kilometers. And I don't want to do that because it's way too far. So yeah, I don't really know what to do if I should stop like one place before that and then walk into Burgos tomorrow like just like with like five kilometers or something like that. Mm. The thing is also I think I will get my period soon. I already started to have like cramps and it's just not so much fun to walk today. I feel a bit like off because of that. I try to find like taking a bus but it's just not possible. I mean, yeah, it's just not possible to find a bus here. Um, I think in the last stop before Burgos, there was a bus, but it's only on Monday and Tuesday. At least that's what Google Maps tells me. And then I went to, on the website of Alsa, couldn't find any connections, but then I'm guessing if it's just like five kilometers from Burgos, if I order a taxi, it won't be 40 euros anymore, hopefully. I think I will ask in one of the bars. Yeah. But in general, I don't want to walk more than 20 kilometers today. So, <sighs> haven't found a solution yet. Don't know where I'm gonna stay tonight. We're just gonna see. And uh, Tom is just, in Atapuerca to look at the church and I guess he will catch up with me later. We actually realized that we have to arrive at the same day in Santiago so I'm guessing we'll have very similar stages. I mean he has booked everything beforehand um, which I did on my first Camino so I really felt like um, reminded of that but it also means like he always has to reach the next place why I can always decide what I want to do. The advantages and disadvantages of booking. <laughs> Just took a little break here. Um, Tom and Tom continued walking because they are going to Burgos today. So they have, I think, still 16 kilometers left. Why? I mean, I think I have two kilometers to that next town over there. And then I can actually choose, I think it will be either, either next village after that or the second village where I can stay in an albergue. Um, and I will definitely do that. I just feel like I'm not, I'm not feeling 100% with my period approaching. I'm kind of like in pain and my feet, I feel a bit tired from the longer walks the past days. I definitely see I should have a bit of shorter walk today. I'm now my backpack is super dirty because everything is, yeah. You can see it's everything is white here, so I also have to clean it and yeah. 
I mean, it's probably better like that. But Tom, the American Tom, he told me that he's actually staying two days in Burgos for like a um, rest day. So I probably will continue going with him in the same stages because he will arrive on the twenty on the 31st in Santiago and that's the same as I do. And we even found out that we will actually be in the same hotel. So we probably will celebrate my birthday together with my two other friends are coming. Then it's going to be fun. Yeah. But I guess I'm going to start walking, listening to a podcast today and yeah, not that far anymore. Buen camino. <laughs> He's now in my video. <laughs> I'm here in my oh do you see that this is because I just went to the massage she was the osteopath so she also like I actually don't know how you say that in English but she, she really put pressure on it I'm always afraid that she's gonna kill me but um, that was really helpful she said it actually I quite look she said it was actually quite good on my body obviously there were certain parts that were very stiff and yeah she worked through them and also mostly about my right leg which is quite interesting because like if i had pain it was only on the other side but yeah um feeling really relaxed now and yeah my albergue is right all around the corner oh yeah the massage was like 30 euros i gave her 35 because i feel like i had a therapy session and i mean in norway i usually pay three times as much so yeah three times sometimes even four times so uh, yeah i didn't feel right with like just 30 euros um but yeah my albergue so far i'm the only one we'll see if somebody have arrived um nothing special but like i could choose my bed i mean there's only one bathroom and toilet for like i think 20 people i think they have space for that that's I, I mean this place is not made for an albergue it's actually like a flat actually so yeah but the bed looks quite comfy and it has everything i need so and tomorrow we have only 12 kilometers to burgos i already booked my place in the hostel which is very central i can't complain about anything so I think we will just go back to the albergue and I will start reading a bit and journaling. Oh yeah, when you did my journaling for today, I kind of caught up with everything that I needed to write about them. Yeah, very relaxed, very zen feeling now. <laughs> <sighs> this was the albergue I stayed in um, and I slept really well and it was absolutely okay um, I mean if you're just a few pilgrims we were just three it works really well um, because like they have only one bathroom but otherwise I can't um, complain I mean the food wasn't amazing um, <laughs> the spaghetti bolognese if they made it just with like a tomato sauce from a glass or a bag, it wouldn't um, surprise me at all. But um, yeah, that's not the way, I guess. I guess we just continue. Yeah, nothing to brag about. But if you need a place right before Burgos, because you can't make it to Burgos or you don't want to walk that far, you can stay here and you definitely should book an appointment for the massage. That will level up your stay like 10 times. <laughs> and Christina is super, super nice. So yeah, I guess I see you tomorrow or actually we see each other next week. Thank <laughs> you.